Hi, I've had a few questions about how you can watch the Hulu app outside of the USA. Hulu gives you um, a lot of US channels and such forth for you to watch, but you need to be based in the USA for watching it, so it doesn't really work outside of the USA. However, there is a workaround that you can do using some configuration in the add-on in XBMC. If I just show you what happens is basically you will see a most likely you'll see the advert at the beginning and then it will tell you it's geo blocked. Presented by Toyota. There you go. So it's geo blocked, which means the servers have seen that your IP address is not based in the USA. So it's gonna stop you from watching it. But the way to get around this is by coming out to the XBMC home screen, going to the system menu, and then going into the enabled add-ons, then coming down to video add-ons, and then clicking on Hulu in here. You've got the add-on information pop-up box, click on configure, and then under streaming, you can see these settings. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to change this default CDN to make sure it's Akamai. We are then going to remove any adverts, put them to zero, or if you can't put them to zero, at least put them to one, so that you're not bombarded with adverts every time you start a stream. And then what we're going to do is these settings down here. Now, proxy basically means is uh, a server that will handle your traffic on behalf of you. So we're going to put an IP address in here that's based in the USA. So when this add-on contacts the Hulu servers, first of all, it goes via this proxy server. So then the Hulu servers will think it's coming from the United States and it will allow the streams. So enable the proxy, then you want to choose the US proxy IP. Now, the best way to get an IP address for a proxy server in um, America is to come onto this website. So go onto a website on your PC or laptop, or whatever, and go to hidemyass.com forward slash proxy hyphen list. This will give you a page that shows you all the free proxy servers around the world. And this page is updated every single day with all the latest uh, proxy servers and tells you how quick they are and how fast they are. What you want to do is you want to come over to proxy countries, untick this box, and then choose United States on its own. Then click on update results. This will give you a list of proxy servers which are just based in the United States, which is what we want. Next, you need to find a proxy server that's got a good um, a good speed and a good connection time. So this one here, very good speed as you can see and a very good connection time. So this is the one I want to enter into the Hulu settings. So if you make a note of the IP address, which is uh, for this one it's 54.227.39.120 and then head on back to your XBMC config and 54.227.39.120 If you're using a remote control on your Android box you need to press the cursor button on your remote and then use the mouse cursor to enter these numbers from here using the, uh, the full stop by pressing on symbols. I'm doing this video on a Mac so I've got a keyboard so just for, for presentation purposes. When you finish just click done so there's your IP address then you need to click on port and then you need to put in port 80 so 8 0 and then done. Okay so you've got the proxy server enabled you've got US proxy IP and you've got port 80. Scrolling up got no adverts and this is set to Akamai. Okay you're good to go so click OK and then close that off, come back out, go into your video add-ons again, and you're back in Hulu. So let's just test this one, popular, popular shows, let's choose this one again, let's see um, what happens. Oh. And there you go. Oh, that is how you expect America. 
So the stream's working and uh, you, you're able to go and watch what you like. Keep an eye, if it suddenly doesn't work, you need to go back to Hide My Ass and look for another IP address, but uh, a lot of the time they stay the same, but if you want to keep continuously watched Hula, you need to keep checking on these IP addresses to make sure you've got the latest one installed, and uh, it should work fine for you. Thanks for watching.